There is one document required in every state in order to sell ivory. But as it turns out, we've never met a single person who's ever actually seen one. This is what's called a pre-ban certificate. And although every law governing the sale of ivory requires this piece of paper, very few people have ever even seen one or know what one is. According to the International Coalition called CITES, which is an international agreement between governments, if you sign a certain document agreeing to certain international standards, you are considered a party to the convention. And there are currently about 183 countries. Together, they decided that in order to legally sell African ivory, meaning ivory that was killed prior to 1989, then the seller has to present a pre-ban certificate, which is simply a certificate authenticating the ivory was killed legally or died of natural causes. And it isn't only CITES that requires this document, but also the Endangered Species Act, and it is written into state laws. Hi everyone, I'm Debbie Ethel, Executive Director of the Coda Foundation for Elephants as well as a conservation research scientist. So it would make sense that ivory appraisers, such as Greg Brown, would be used to seeing pre-ban certificates, right? So this is the document required by law in order to sell ivory? Correct. And how many of these have you seen? I've never seen one. Never seen a single one? I've never seen one. Really? Right. No customer has ever brought a certificate with them with their ivory. Goodness. Yeah, in 20 years. Wow. And that is the very definition of a massive loophole. So how often do people bring you ivory to appraise? Uh, about once a week. If you've never seen a single pre ban certificate, how would you know if one was forged? I wouldn't. So why would a pre ban certificate even be required in the first place? Especially when no one we've ever met Professionals with literally years of experience have never even seen one. You can help us by liking or sharing this video or subscribe to stay up to date on everything we're doing next and leave your thoughts or ask questions in the comments below. And thank you for watching another episode of The Elephant in the Room.